What's up, guys? I'm Dwayne. I'm Alicia. And we are Blackboard Gaming, where we teach you about all these great board games that are out there. Waiting to be played by you and yours. I'm a Well, we're in the first week of September, which means my favorite time of the year is on its way. And my favorite time of year is about to end. Yeah, she really loves summer. I know, you love summer. I mean, don't get me wrong. As much as I love the fall, I am going to miss summer. I'm going to miss not having to put on a coat or a sweater going outside because it's warm enough. I'm going to miss backyard barbecues. I'm going to miss a, a whole lot about summer. Not only am I going to miss the warm weather, I'm going to miss summer break from school. <laughs> school starts <laughs> this week. Uh, oh, boy, yeah. I, I, I can't take nothing away from you. Teachers deserve summer break. Y'all need summer break. Yes. So I got that. So... To pay homage to the last vestiges of summer, each of us is going to highlight five games that make us think of summer. Yep, I, I'm, I'm really excited about this list because when you put it out there, I had to do some thinking, you know, because I wanted to make sure we didn't have too many crossovers, you know, because all the games that you played, I played. So I had to just make sure my list was kind of separate. Okay. All right, so let's get right to it. Okay. You ready to go first? Uh, no. Why not? You gonna make me go first? Please do. Okay, you guys saw me. I, I was being chivalrous. The ladies are supposed to go, always go first, but she, she I it's waved on tape. My, I waive my right to be ladies first. Okay, well, all right. So the first game that I want to talk about, there's no particular order. Is a game that I played a couple years ago, and it's published by Smirk and Laughter, and that game is called Koi. Koi. You remember this one? Oh, I remember Koi. <laughs> <laughs> so in Koi, the players have Koi fish. It's set in a Koi fish pond, and we are moving Koi fish using these cards that give us the movement, and we're trying to eat the dragonflies. That's how we get victory points in the game. Thing is, of course, all the other players are trying to do the same thing. So this game has, uh, it's probably the cutest, meanest take that game that I've ever played. Because, I mean, the other players, you could drop rocks in front of the fish. So now your fish can't move around the rock. You're dropping frogs. And we can eat the frogs and gain points too. But if you drop, if a player drops frogs near a dragonfly, the frog is going to, eat the dragonfly that's adjacent to his space and then you're dropping petals that cause a ripple effect that move dragonflies towards other players so yeah this this game really makes me think of summer because like i said it's a koi fish pond and when i think of fish in a pond and dragonflies i think of summer yeah that that makes sense yeah i i, 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 I can i could definitely see um dragonflies on the water that's definitely a summer thing so that's my first bit koi okay so my first choice is juicy fruits juicy fruits is a game by capstone games <laughs> you so sad <laughs> so the um so juicy in juicy fruits you're on a tropical island and you're harvesting the fruit on the island to sell to you know to to sell in markets to make ice cream and just to sell so nothing makes i mean a tropical island is the place where summer never ends so yeah oh okay i, I think that this is a good choice yes yeah, so uh, definitely we, yeah we played this game a few times and yeah, you're out on the tropical island yes. listening to the island music and, you know, growing fruit. And, and uh, you're in forever summer. Yeah, so <laughs> the sun's always out. And it's always balmy. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, I thought this was a great choice. Yes. <clears throat> so, 
My next choice is a game, another game that I played a couple years ago. And this game is uh, published by Blue Orange Games, and that game is called Photosynthesis. Okay. Yeah, we played this once, too, a, a while ago. It's been a while. Yeah. So, in Photosynthesis, it's an area majority game where the players are planting trees and growing the trees using sunlight points. And there's this big sun that's moving around the board, and it shines the uh, sun in that direction. So this one has a take, is take that also, because sometimes you're blocking other players from getting any sunlight. So they can't use it to grow their trees. You know, that, and that that's what makes me think of summer. It's like you got this big sun piece circling the board, and you're growing trees, you know, in the summer. So that that's... That's my choice. That's my next choice. Yeah, I definitely can see this giant sun providing sunlight for the tree. So, yeah, I definitely can see how that will make you think of summer. Yeah, that I, 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 that makes me definitely. So, that's my next choice. So, my number two is Summer Camp by Buffalo Games. So... Going to summer camp is a rite of passage for many children in the United States and, you know, Canada and countries like that. And summer camp is a cute, clever take on that experience. In summer camp, you have different um, activities, canoeing, um, cooking, and it's basically a racing game to see who can... Um, gain the, their merit badges first. So, um, I, I really like summer camp. I really think it's cute and clever. And what's more summery than going to summer camp? Yeah, it says so in the name. I got, <laughs> I get it, you know. So, <laughs> this is a great gateway game. Like, the mechanic, you, you're deck building. And, like, if you want to introduce somebody to the deck building mechanic, this is a great game to take. You can get you can get this one at Target. Yes. You know, this is a great game. It's not that expensive easy. And, you know, so I think this was a great choice. Okay. All right. So my next choice is a game I just recently played, uh, and it's a game that came out from Rebel Studio, and this game is called Meadow. And so in Meadow, you are drafting cards, and building up your tableau, making your own personal meadow. And the cars have uh, stuff like birds and berries and frogs and bugs and white picket fences and brick houses off into the distance. So, I mean, to me, that just speaks, you know, being out in the meadow in the summer, walking along the road and you're being able to you're able to see some of the nature, you know, and taking it in. So that speaks summer to me. I think this, you know, I like this game. So, yeah, I definitely can see laying in a field, in the meadow, um, taking in the sun and watching the mosquitoes buzz about and watching the animals <laughs> frolic. I ain't watching no mosquitoes buzz about. <laughs> and watching the animals frolic. Definitely a summer scene. So, yes, I could see that. Yeah, I, I got that. Okay. What's okay. your next choice? So, my number three is Honey Buzz by Elf Creek Games. Now, I love summer. I love everything about summer except one thing, and that's the bugs. <laughs> and no bug is more dreaded in the summertime to me than bees. What about the mosquitoes? Bees are bigger than mosquitoes. Mosquitoes <laughs> are annoying, but bees hurt. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so anyway, Honey Buzz is a game where you play bees. So you're collecting your pollen, you're um, developing, you're um, making your nectar, and, it, and then you're selling the honey that's made. So it's a really clever economic game. It's really pretty. The resources are, I mean, the components are really visually appealing. So Honey Buzz really 
just scream summer to me. Yeah, I, I really did think about this game. This was actually one of the first games that popped in my head. But like I said, I knew it was going to be on your list, and I was <laughs> trying to just not have too much crossover. Okay. But, yeah, that board, the art on that board, you know, is just I could smell the grass. <laughs> Yeah, I literally like smell the grass and the flowers on the board and yes, all that. Yes. So yeah, this is a great choice. Okay. All right. So the next game, like this is what number four? Yes. Yeah. The next game I want to talk about is a game I just recently played with our uh, grandson Elijah. Okay. He's the middle grandson, and this game is called Dive. And so in Dive. Um, the players are members of this village, and we're competing. The elder of the village has taken this sacred stone and threw it off into the ocean. And so now we're diving and trying to be the first to grab this sacred stone. So it's a, it's a racing game, but has push-your-luck element because there's these transparent tiles that we have to look down into, and we're trying to judge, like, how far to go down to, like, we, we're getting help from turtles and manta rays, but then we're trying to not disrupt sharks. <laughs> there are sharks all over the place, so we're trying to avoid them. And then the first one that gets down there, you know, who, whoever gets to the, the uh, stone wins the game. We played this, uh, me and my grandson played this like three or four times, and then I played it a two-player, three-player Four player, like I played this at my game group, and we usually play the heavier games. But here we are, uh, four grown men playing dive and, and, and just enjoying the experience. This game is really nice, it doesn't outstay its welcome. Um, this game is made by Sit Down Games, yeah, published by Sit Down Games. This game, this is a great one. So, this game really is quite pretty, yeah, and I certainly understand. Why it makes you think of summer with the, you know, you diving in the water. Yeah. So, yeah. Because the water got to be warm. And they and they not they don't have scuba gear. Exactly. They're in a village. Yes. So, they don't have scuba gear. Yes. They just, like. So, they're, they're, <laughs> they're again on a tropical island. You right. Know, where summer never ends. Yeah. So, you know, that that's dive. That's my, <laughs> that's my fourth choice. All right. So, my fourth choice is. Walking in Burano. Now, Walking in Burano is published by AEG Games. Walking in Burano is a tableau building game where you're building colorful houses on a street, on the streets of Burano, and they have, they're very colorful and visually appealing. But what makes me pick it as a summer game is because it's a summer, it's so the, the scene in the game is a summer scene. People are dressed in warm weather clothes. Yep. There are tourists. Yep. People are wearing their shades. Right. There's um, flowers there all are, on the window. There are flowers on the window. So it's a summer scene, and it's really very pretty. So walking in Verano is a great summer game. I mean, it's a game that evokes summer. Yeah, I think that's a great choice. Yeah. You know, it, it helps that it's a very colorful game. Yes. You know, very beautiful. All right, so we got one more, right? Yes. All right. My last one, and what made me think about this one is the fact that we have, like, the Arts, Beats, and Eats Festival coming around, right around the corner this Labor Day weekend, and... That game is called The Grand Carnival, and that's published by Uproarious Games. And The Grand Carnival, what better time to go to a carnival than in the summer? I mean, I know there are spring carnivals and fall carnivals or whatever, but a summer carnival, you know, they in the game, what you're doing is you're placing tiles, and then you're placing polyomino tiles on top of that, trying to build up your carnival and attracting visitors. And... It's just a beautiful, like, thinky game. But I think it, this game speaks summer to me because, like I said, summer carnival. You're riding roller coasters, Ferris wheel, eating cotton candy. I love this game. 
<laughs> so yeah, the theme, the summer, the um, Grand Carnival theme, it makes me think of summer too, like going to the amusement park. Yeah. Or which, unfortunately, we don't have anymore. The Michigan State Fair. Yeah. Which is like the last big thing of summer. So definitely, um, carnival is a summer activity. Yeah, I, I like this game. What's your last game? Okay, so my last but not least game is... Um, you forgot. Santa Monica. I'm so glad you wrote this down. <laughs> Santa Monica, which is also by AEG Games. Santa Monica is another tableau building game where you're building up your pier on the beach. Nothing screams summer to me more than hanging out at the beach. Yep. You got people playing volleyball. You have summer weddings. You have just... Surfboarding. Surfboarding. So anything that you're doing on the beach, you have scenes of this in Santa Monica. So summer, beach, I mean... It's not much else to say. That I think that's a perfect choice. Yes. So yes. that was a great choice. So yes. you you made a great list. Thank you. Okay, I I give it to you. So anyway, so those are our top five games that speak summer to us. Feel free to leave in the comments below what board games have you played or that you know of that make you think of summer, because. It's, a great, it's summer is great. I mean, well, anyway, let's get right to it. If you like the contents of this video, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And like I said, we hope you've enjoyed your summer. Yes, we did. <laughs> so I'm Dwayne. I'm Alicia. We are Blackboard Gaming. We will see you next time.